Assalamu alaikum. Let's be real. If you're not married, or even if you are, you probably want to get married ASAP. And although you don't want to be going around begging or simping for women, you do want to know what will increase your likelihood, your chances of getting married to that girl. That one girl who has all the qualities and characteristics that you're looking for in your future wife and mother of your children. The question is though, what does a good, reasonable Muslim woman look for in a husband? Yes, not just a woman, not just a good woman, not just a Muslim woman, but a good Muslim woman who's reasonable. These three things. This is what we want in a wife. Because if a woman is Muslim, but she's not really that good of a Muslim and she's not reasonable, then we don't want to marry her anyway. You've probably heard horror stories of Muslimers who are snobby coming with some crazy attitude of a spoiled Hollywood teenager. We're not talking about those types because we're not even going to propose to those types, okay? Because there are loads of negative stories going around and you'll see these types of girls online who are just not good and we wouldn't propose to them anyway. So we don't want that to cloud our judgment of what is out there and what we want to look for in a wife and what that good, reasonable Muslimer will look for in us. So number one, She's a good Muslim, all right? So she wants a man who fears Allah, who has real taqwa, who does things in private and does things, whether he's married or not married, that are for the sake of Allah. He's not going around sinning in his private life, but then in public, he's trying to act pious. No, he's legit, real, fears Allah and makes that a priority in his life. She's not perfect herself. She knows she's not perfect. So she's not looking for someone who's perfect. She struggles as well. She's just looking for someone who's trying, who's practicing the religion and who's not involved in openly sinning or big major sins like mistreating his parents, getting involved in riba, getting involved in alcohol and stuff like that. Number two, she's looking for money. Yeah, loads of cash. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She's not actually looking for money. She's looking for stability, meaning she wants to know that you have some sort of income, some sort of plan, something going on so that you can provide for her and she can lean on you in that way. Having said that, even if she's reasonable, she might expect realistically that you provide a quality of life for her that is similar to what she had when she was living with her dad. That might not always be the case, but it wouldn't be unreasonable for her to expect that. But all in all, she's not looking for a lavish lifestyle unless she was already living a very lavish lifestyle. When I got married, I was doing business full time and it was in the earlier stages of business. So I told my wife straight up, I said, look, I don't have a job. I'm doing business and business has ups and downs. So you need to expect the lifestyle that comes with that. I didn't tell her things are going terribly. I didn't say they're going amazingly. They're always going to be rock solid. I just said that in business, things can go up and down. So you have to be ready to handle that. I set the standards. I anchored her, which is a sales technique. I anchored her lower so that when she comes on board and things are not terrible, now she's happy, not disappointed. Now, number three that a good, reasonable Muslim is going to look for is your manners, your character, how polite you are. That's how you treat her, how you treat her parents, her siblings, just how you speak, how you carry yourself. That's going to be an indicator for her of what kind of man you are. Like, are you polite? Are you charismatic? When you speak to her dad, is it a man-to-man -man conversation or is it an adult-to-child conversation, if you know what I mean? Also, how do you even treat your brother, your sister, your parents? That is going to be a big deal for her especially how you treat your parents. A good Muslim always respects a man who treats his parents well. And that's even a proxy for how you're going to treat her. And another big factor and something that's a big deal, maybe especially for Arab women, is anger, controlling your anger. For a lot of men, it's a weakness of ours that we can be lacking patience. We might get angry very quickly. And that's something very scary and worrying for a woman. She wants to see that you don't lose control in that way. And of course, the Prophet ﷺ advised us that the one who is strong is not the one who can wrestle people to the ground. He's the one who can control control his anger when, when it boils up inside him. And number four is generosity. This is a big one because a good, reasonable Muslim, she's not going to be asking you for money straight up. She will not ask you for money. She finds it very difficult to ask for money. So therefore she needs someone she can rely on to be generous, to give her money without her asking. So she's going to be attracted to someone who is generous. And you might not always get a chance to show this. And we absolutely don't want to be showing this off, but she might get hints here and there that you're a generous person. And so maybe when things are a bit more advanced in terms of the process and you're getting very close to actually doing the marriage contract, that's when you can show this by getting her gifts, getting her parents gifts even. I mean, the first time you come and speak to her parents, come to her house maybe, you can bring a gift, be generous, show that generosity. That is very attractive. And then the fifth thing that a Muslimer who's good, reasonable looks for is 
someone with a life, someone with something going on in their life. Are you passionate about your work? Do you constantly develop yourself so you're going to be the top tier in that industry? Do you have hobbies that you take seriously? Not something that you just play video games, but do you play sports? Are you serious about those sports? Do you studies? Do you seek Islamic knowledge? Do you seek other kinds of knowledge? Do you read books? Do you give the khutbah and jumma? Are you involved in volunteering in charity projects? Do you have some sort of ibadah routine going on? Are you memorizing the Quran right now? Do you have something going on in your life? A Muslima and a woman in general wants to jump onto a moving train. She doesn't want to jump into the dirty engine room with you and start shoveling coal to get the engine going. So those are five things that a good, reasonable Muslima looks for when getting married. Fear of Allah, stability, good manners and character, generosity, and having life, having something going on in your life. The good news for you is that you don't even need to be looking to get married, looking to get married a second time or whatever, to do this to attract a woman. You should be doing these things for the sake of Allah anyway. And the bonus is that if you do these things, a woman and a good woman will find you attractive inshallah. But the main thing is that we should be doing this stuff anyway to develop ourselves, to get reward from Allah, and to make progress in our own journey. So inshallah, that gave you an idea of what good, reasonable Muslims are looking for and what you can focus on in terms of your development and your improvement in your life. Take it one step at a time. Don't be intimidated inshallah. And if you're looking for a bit of inspiration, something to give hope to the single Muslim men out there, then check this video out. It'll be perfect if you enjoyed this video here.